In today's video, we're going to set up our synchronization with Joplin, and it's very simple. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, if for some reason you have no idea what Joplin is, check out my previous video on why I switched from Evernote to Joplin. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a very simple process. All you have to do is click on tools and then go to options. From here, you're going to scroll down to synchronization. And then you're going to open up the wizard. Now you should choose ahead of time. They do give you a couple of options. You've got all these options here where you can host your own notes so that you keep this 100% free. But if you open up the sync wizard, it gives you like the main options that people use. Now, if you've got a email account or anything like that, you probably have Dropbox or OneDrive. You can use these in order to keep everything in Joplin 100% free. So I'm going to be using Dropbox. Let me close this out real quick and I'm going to set my synchronization target to Dropbox. We're going to open up the wizard and click on Dropbox. Now, this is very simple. All you literally need to do is click on this web address that they're going to give you specifically. And that's going to bring you to this page right here. All you have to do is click allow. And then it's going to give you your own personalized code. We're going to highlight this, copy it, and then close this out. Now from here, you're going to go to step two and just en enter the provided code and then submit it. The application has been authorized, so we're good here. And now we can go back and that's it. Everything will sync. You can click synchronize here to make sure that everything is synchronized. These are all the basic notes that Joplin comes with just to show you how it works. But in our next video, we'll show you how to actually do the markdown uh, your your folders your subfolders tags all of that good stuff It also allows you to read notes in all sorts of different ways like we see here Or you can have a split design where you have your markdown Which is what you're going to be editing in and then it shows you a preview of what it's actually going to look like It's a really nice little system 100% free and it's what I'm using to take notes now So if you haven't checked out Joplin go and check it out for yourself synchronization is easy it Syncs across all your devices, absolutely free, folders, everything that you need. Go check it out, and I'll see you on the next video.